Hello, welcome to Flipped. Today we are on electrolysis of aqueous copper 2 sulfate with copper electrodes. So this is a very specific example as required in the syllabus. Okay, let's examine this as we have done before. Aqueous, okay, this means that there is H plus and OH minus present. Am I right? Okay. Um copper 2 sulfate is actually Cu SO4. I can break them down into uh Cu2 plus and SO4 2 minus. Okay, 2 plus is um, negated with 2 minus charge. Okay, they cancel out each other. Okay, so now this is special because so far we have been talking about um, carbon electrodes okay, or platinum electrodes which are inert. But in this case, copper electrodes are not inert. Okay, they take part in the reaction. Let me show you how. Okay, so this one is standard. Um, what is attracted to the heat dude? Let's write down all the, all the positive charges, am I right? So in this case are H plus and Cu2 plus. Okay, let's write down for A node first. A node, okay, it's uh, all the minus charges, OH minus and SO4 2 minus. Okay, so here's the twist. It's not just, okay, um, OH minus and SO4 2 minus. The A node itself is also at the A node. Okay, so, so let me phrase it better. Whatever is attracted to A node, they have to first get to the A node first. For example, in this case, this is my A node, right? Okay, it's connected to the positive end of the battery. Okay, let me just leave this side blank. So all the minus charges have to actually get to near the A node before they can undergo reaction. But in this case, all these are attracted to it, no problem. But um, the A node itself undergoes the uh, oxidation instead of all this. Okay, so I have to fill in a uh, copper here. Although I know that copper itself is the A node. So it's not attracted to it per se, but it's at this area where the reaction takes place. Okay, this is a selection board. From here, I choose what is to be um, oxidized or uh, reduced. So from this selection, okay, ketone, I choose copper. Why is that so? Because based on reactivity series, okay, please stop calling, please stop calling me a colored zebra. I think leaders have cool silver glasses okay all the top are irrelevant we are just interested in h plus here and copper here copper okay is narrowly okay by a margin of one it's more readily discharged than h plus because if you recall um the closer to the top is less readily discharged closer to the bottom is more readily discharged so copper is lower than hydrogen so it's more readily discharged so we choose copper in this case, okay? So copper is the winner here. A note, okay, we automatically let copper win. Okay, this is just uh, for this specific setup only, okay? So we do not care about whether it's the default OH- or whether, whether it's, uh, okay, SO4 to minus has no chance anyway, okay? But so we are just striking out OH- minus because although it's the default, but in this setup, okay, with copper electrodes, copper take precedence, okay, over the reaction. So copper has to, um, be the one undergoing oxidation at the A node. Okay, just a very quick recap. OREC, oxidation happens at the A node, reduction happens at the ketone. Okay, so this one, copper takes precedent over everybody else. Okay, and you can see that this is a copper reaction. And this will have an impact on the uh, e uh, equations later. Let me show you how. Okay, let's talk about the ketone first. It's a Cu2 plus aqueous. Okay, because it's a reduction process, I take in electrons. I need two electrons to balance out my two positive charge, so I take two electrons. And now I'll form a Cu solid. Okay, that's the uh, ketone one. Okay, for the anode one, it's a copper solid. Okay, this is the anode itself. Okay, let me explain with the diagram later, but we just, just bear with me first. The copper itself undergoes oxidation to form Cu2 plus aqueous. Okay, and two electrons to counter this two plus. Okay, essentially a zero charge is split into plus two and minus two. Okay, if that's easier to understand. So this is the keto and enode um equations. So you may be asking, hey, where's something is missing? Where's the overall equation? There's no overall equation here because if you realize everything cancels out. If I cancel away the two C's, two E, sorry, two electrons, and then I have to cancel this two plus, two plus, and then I'll cancel this Cu and Cu. So there's nothing left at the end because this is a recycling process. Okay, it's whatever is being dissolved will form at the ketone. Okay, let me explain how. Okay, the observation is that pink copper metal 
it will plate itself on the cathode. And now the cathode mass increases. You can see that this is the um, copper in the solution. Okay, it's floating somewhere here. Let me just maybe just draw it in here. Somewhere here, there's Cu2 plus. Actually, all of them are filled with Cu2 plus uh, ions. It will take in electrons at the cathode and it will plate itself at the cathode. Okay, and that's why the mass of cathode increases. On the other hand, this is my anode, um, copper anode, um, yeah, copper anode electrode. Okay, it will actually dissolve into the copper solution, which will be plated on the Cu um, metal, Cu copper electrode here. So you can see that this is a ongoing recycling process. What do we ultimately form? It's a uh, this guy. It's like a durian shape because it's irregularly plated. Okay, it's not smoothly plated like in a rectangular shape. It's just plated wherever it wants to. Whereas the anode will be reduced to a very very small metal. Okay, because all that is Cu solid originally. Is being dissolved into Cu2 plus already in the solution. Okay, so this is my, uh, this will be the end of the reaction, which is C, and this guy is A, A node. Okay, it will be very small. This guy will increase in mass. Okay, so please note that all dissolved copper, all this guy from the A node, will form at the cathode. So there's no change in solutions at uh, electro in electrolyte. Uh, what is that? That means to say that if I dissolve, for example, say five grams of A node, okay. Of copper anode into the solution to form Cu2 plus, five grams of that will form at the cathode. Okay, so there's no change in this uh solution here. Okay, with this in mind, there's an important application which is called purification of copper. Okay, so this is what I've drawn just now, exactly the same thing. Uh, after the whole reaction, this will form. See now, the cathode will increase in size, much much bigger in size, whereas the cathode will decrease in size. Okay, so the setup is as, as such. Impure copper has to be at the anode, okay? Pure copper has to be at cathode. What's pure copper? Pure copper means it's just 100% copper, okay? In pure copper could be, okay, if I zoom in on my anode, okay? Um, this whole chunk is my anode, am I right? Okay, this is my anode, for example. Okay, maybe the whole thing is anode, but there are some speckles of impurities present in the metal. Okay, and this is what we call an impure anode. Okay, maybe they are just speckles of gold, for example, which is very common. Okay, in ores, okay, gold and silver metals, they are in this anode. So when I, okay, pure copper will be plated on the cop on the pure copper cathode and increase in size. This is what we observe. Impurities will sink to the bottom to uh be collected for further processing. So what it means is that this guy, okay, is impure. Anode is impure. What the reaction, okay, only happens for cathode. You can see at the anode, uh, anode side, the reaction has to be copper only. So impurities will not get any reaction. So what happens is that they will just fall to the bottom. Okay, they'll just drop to the bottom here. Okay, that's why we we say that it sinks to the bottom and is collected for further processing later. Okay, and that will be all for a purification of copper. So basically, the idea is that. Um, you have to use two copper electrodes. First one, the cathode has to be very, very pure. Okay, whereas the anode can be impure. Okay, because ultimately only the pure part of the anode will go be plated on the cathode, whereas the impure part will just drop to the bottom. Okay, and will be further processed. So the impurities can include a uh, gold and silver metal, for example. Okay, that'll be all for um. Electrolysis with reactive electrodes, in this case copper.